What is going on world? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. Today's video is about making Pleco hides for Pleco puppies. So baby Plecos, these are the type of hides I like to use for my Pleco puppies. This hide would sit on the tank like this or inside the breeder box usually. This is where I like to use my hides and I keep my puppies usually in my breeder boxes until they're ready to sell, uh, which is about three to four months old. And uh, these things help me keep a large amount of fry in individual breeder boxes without them being overcrowded. Also, it keeps the puppies off the ground, so off of bacteria and stuff. If decaying food is on the ground, this helps you to keep them off of that stuff and safer and a lot healthier. And uh, the amount of work you have to do in turn in your breeder boxes becomes quite minimal because you, ca you can use this type of things to help you grow out large amounts of fry in your breeder boxes. I have various sizes. This small one usually sits on top of the larger one. And uh, these are all designed to help me keep my Pleco puppies safe. I usually have three or four of these stacked on top of each other to create a structure where I can keep a decent amount of puppies, usually about 20 to 25 puppies in a hang on the side breeder box or about 15 puppies in a cis breeder box. So we'll be looking at these and if you are new here, subscribe, hit that notification so you do not miss out on all these cool, cool videos that are coming to you through this channel. And uh, for my regular subscribers, thank you so much. And if you find this type of videos valuable, give, uh, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions that arise right now or throughout the video, feel free to comment below and I will be glad to get back to you on those comments. As always, thank you so much for your continued love and support. Let's get into this video and figure out exactly how I make these Playco hikes. Produced by Malik. What's going on world? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. I'm actually cutting some slate and uh, making some structures for my Pleco fry. So these are the slates I'm using. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to sand some of these and I'll show you guys. I actually cut some earlier and I made a bunch already but I'm just gonna show you the process so basically you can use bathroom tiles as well and if you are using bathroom tiles you don't have to go through this particular step but basically what I'm doing is I'm using my Dremel well this is a tack light it's a rotary tool so uh, you gotta wear a mask so I'm, I'm using my safety mask there it is so this is one I already sanded. It's quite smooth now. I can, you know, no cuts and stuff. This one's still rough. If you touch here and it feels rough, you want to sand it down. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm using my... So we've got the slate cut and sanded. I actually have these half cut pieces as well as these four pieces that are fully sanded on the edges. And now I'm gonna glue them with these legs, which are, I'm actually using Ciperex or filter media. This is ceramic filter media. So I'm using these as the legs for the caves or the structures. So these are just gonna be platforms where baby Plecos can live and hide and stuff like that. And I'm going to make quite a bit of these because I have a lot of baby playcos and I need a lot of these hides for all my breeding boxes. So without further ado, let's just glue these together and get it done real quickly so we can actually put them into the tanks. I'm using silicone, mono silicone, and uh, I'm gluing these legs on with the silicone. So essentially I'm going to do all these ones. 
but I'm not going to film all of it. I'll show you guys one or two, and uh, then we'll go from there. visual barrier between the two sides so that I can have about 10 fry per plate or five to six fry per plate depending on the species and the size of the particular fry okay or plate or puppies Also, if you are buying fish from me and you buy a group of 10 or more, I will give one of these with every purchase of 10 fish while supplies last. I mean, I have a few extra ones. I'm not going to give all of them away. I'm going to keep most of them, but I'll probably have like about five. So the first five people that come to buy a group of 10 or more fish will get one of these plates in the next couple of weeks. So remember that and remember to ask me. First come, first serve. Produced by Mali. And that's how you make a Playco hide. If you find value in this type of content and you are new here, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification icon. YouTube Analytics tells me that 55% of you guys have not subscribed to my channel. So help a brother out and subscribe. And if you're a regular subscriber, thank you. Give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll be glad to get back to you in a timely manner. I'll see you on the next video. I love you all. God bless you.